Well, welcome back from the road trip, Aaron. Thank you, and Matthew. Of course, the Mariners team. Shannon, uh, we've given her a couple of days off, so we're going to pitch in on the video here on the blog. I want to talk about something that happened away from the big league club, but it's a big uh, move for the organization. Taiwan Walker got promoted to AAA Tacoma today. I think it's only a matter of time before we're seeing him or Austin Ramirez and uh, Danny Holtzen up here at the big league level. But for Taiwan specifically, this is a big step for him, and he had some challenges early on. What do you think this says about his uh, future this season and possibly a promotion up to here sooner than later? Well, obviously that's the next step for Taiwan to make the call and get the move up to AAA. And for, for Taiwan, we saw in his last start with AA Jackson before getting the call up, had 12 strikeouts. He was leading, I, I looked at the numbers earlier today, I was curious, he was leading the Southern League. He had over 90 strikeouts and about 84 innings worth of work. And he had an ERA that was right around two and a half. And we'll see how he adjusted to AAA. It's just, you got a lot of veteran hitters there, guys, who aren't going to chase as much, obviously, as they will in AA. But I very distinctly remember watching Taiwan Walker pitch yeah. in Peoria this spring. And he had a sequence of two pitches. First, he threw a fastball at 96 miles an hour for a strike. His next pitch, a curveball at 76 miles for a strike. So that's what really stands out to me about Taiwan Walker. I'll be excited, like we all will be, to see how that translates up in uh, Tacoma. There's going to be some interesting... Uh, I think discussion certainly, but with veteran pitchers, if this team is not in the mix as we enter July, Joe Saunders may become attracted to a, a contender, even an Aaron Harang if he's able to kind of even out, or you just make room for these young guys. Holson is uh, kind of fast tracking on his rehab, and Rossman Ramirez, by all accounts, is ready uh, if a position becomes available up here at the big leagues. So uh, you throw Taiwan Walker in the mix now and again conversation shifts back around to that kind of big three. James Paxton, maybe not so much. He struggled, but we forget with all of the, the talk of the offense, right. with all of the talk of, of the injuries to, to Holton kind of took him off the radar, R Ramirez took him off the radar, this organization's core is still that big three, maybe not the big four down there. And Brandon Mauer's right. another one. I was going to say, yeah. And, and the, 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 the core is still the strong young pitching. Absolutely. We saw Mauer in his last start. It looked like he had to leave after only a, about an inning with Tacoma, but Mauer definitely had some moments of promise up here with the Mariners. Hopefully it won't be too much longer until he gets things straightened out down in Tacoma. And Rasmus Ramirez, a name you brought up, really impressed me during spring training. A guy who obviously is not a big guy, but he throws hard and he throws strikes. So I'll be interested to see kind of what his timetable is, what his role will be when he comes back up to the Mariners, because he's a guy based on at least what we saw in a, I guess, a relatively small sample size in Peoria. He really could pitch well, and he had success at this level last year. Taiwan Walker up to AAA Tacoma. Danny Holson will join him soon. Erasmo Ramirez and James Paxton already there. And i got to think that that group is going to be here sooner than later, Aaron. Thank you. Thank you, Matt.